Okay, anabolic steroids. Pwede ba itong gamitin? Or better question, safe ba ito sa katawan? Ready na kayo? Let's start! Good day again guys, this is Dr. Ivan Godal, your internist and your endocrinologist. Here in this page and in this channel, we try to educate people regarding diabetes, thyroid, and other hormonal diseases. Okay, shoutout lang po tayo to Sir or Doc Jaime Ochoa. Ang suggestion niyo po ay, please create a vlog on cytomel and anabolic steroids used by bodybuilders. Ayan, thanks bossing for that suggestion. Yung cytomel guys, synthetic thyroid hormone po yun ng lyotyronine or T3. Maybe guys, we will discuss that in some other time because thyroid topic po siya. Ang pag-usapan natin ngayon is yung anabolic steroids used by bodybuilders. Okay lang ba? So let's start. So again, basic knowledge po muna tayo. What is a hormone? Hormones are chemical substances that helps control the cells or other organs to produce some kind of action. For example, serotonin is a chemical substance that helps control your mood. Insulin is a chemical substance or a hormone that helps control your sugar. Steroid hormones naman po is a group of hormones of a chemical structure na galing sa ating steroid glands. So ano yung mga steroid glands? Adrenals, ovaries, testis. All of these steroid hormones are produced from cholesterol. The adrenal will produce glucocorticoids. Ito yung topic natin last time, yung medical uses of steroids for diseases. Panoorin nyo na lang ha. And mineralocorticoid, the salt and water balance sa ating katawan. The testis will of course produce the testosterone and the ovaries estrogen and progesterone. Pag sinabi pong anabolic hormones, ito yung mga hormones that builds up tissues sa inyong katawan. Insulin, testosterone, or growth hormone, all of them can produce the anabolic effect. Androgenic hormones naman po is a chemical that produces the androgen properties, meaning yung male-like properties sa ating katawan. Most of the time, this is the function of the testosterone. Medyo nagigets yung nabasan tayo papunta. Testosterone has both the anabolic and the androgenic effects. Kaya nga in sports or mas kilala siya sa bodybuilding, the testosterone or substances like testosterone are the ones used to synthetically manufacture to produce this anabolic and androgenic-like effects sa katawan. Now, why use these artificial testosterones? Because this kind of steroid, again, maraming klaseng steroid guys ha, can help create proteins that is used to support muscle growth, hair growth, bone density, sexual functions. The more anabolic effect that you have, the more potential for muscle growth and muscle endurance. That's why you also hear the term PED, Performance Enhancing Drugs. Dito po yun pumapasok. So, Doc, may use ba tong testosterone na to? Medically, yes. Kapag ikaw po ay may muscle wasting disease, AIDS, COPD, cancer, kidney problems, these are the instances na yung overall nangyayari sa iyong katawan is catabolic. So, paano mo i-counteract yun? Siyempre, give anabolic chemicals because loss of muscle mass is closely linked to mortality and preventing it can improve the outcomes and the lifespan. So, non-medically, ito most commonly used to promote muscle mass. Ito yung mga main reasons ba't ito ginagamit. Others, muscle strength and muscle endurance. It has also the effect of increasing your red blood cells. Since your red blood cells are the oxygen-carrying capacity of your body, the more na may oxygen ka sa katawan, the more na may energy output na pwede kang ibigay. Sometimes, pinagsasama-sama po nila yung mga other anabolic hormones. Besides sa testosterone, mag inject rin po sila ng insulin. Or sometimes, growth hormone itself. They call this effect stacking para yung overall promotion ng muscle growth madagdagan. And of course, because of its androgenic properties, mas gusto mo kung minsan yung mas may secondary male characteristics ka, mas magandang tignan. The more manly you look in their perspective, the better it is. In general guys, athletes looking for speed and power or physique athletes looking for mass and strength, these are the most common uses of anabolic steroid outside of its medical use. So tinake mo na nga. Ano yung mga kailangang bantayan or the side effects from a doctor's perspective? Well, kahit hindi ka nga doktor eh, anything too much, syempre, is harmful to the body. The problem with these steroids is people taking them on a supra-physiologic level way above what normal people are having. Ibig sabihin, kung minsan sobra-sobra na yung inom nilang dosage, in the short term, hindi mo ito masyadong mapapansin. 
Siyempre, in the long term, babawian ka ng katawan niyan. And these are the effects that you might end up with. Heart disease. Remember, heart is also a muscle. And if you increase the mass of your heart muscle, magkakaroon ka ng cardiomegaly or enlarged heart. Pag masyadong enlarged yung heart mo, yung pumping capacity niya mas mahina. This leads to cardiac problem or sometimes death in itself. Another thing is liver disease. All of these steroids came from cholesterol, just like what I said before. Sa liver, syempre, usually na may metabolize itong cholesterol na ito. Na kapag sobrang taas na ng steroid levels nyo sa ibang katawan, syempre, hindi kayang i-metabolize ito ng liver entirely. The liver usually shuts down. So, hindi na may metabolize not only the steroids, but yung mga iba't ibang basura sa iyong katawan. Third is the decreased production of testosterone itself. Kapag too much na yung testosterone sa katawan, iisipin ng katawan mo, ay, sobra na pala ako. Kailangan nating bawasan ng testosterone natin. And how to decrease production? Shrinkage of your testis. Yes, yung parte din sa baba mo. To decrease the production, leading to hypogonadism, decrease sperm production, and possible infertility. In short, may chance ang mabaog ka. Another thing, remember, di ba, may androgenic effects po itong testosterone na to. Siyempre, too much of this androgenic effect, meron ding physical characteristic yan. Male pattern baldness. Yung pagkalbo na inyong buhok ay parang itsura ng tumandang lalaki. Also, in connection with this, di ba sa kolesterol, pwede siyang pumunta sa glucocorticoids, mineralocorticoids, estrogen, progesterone, or testosterone. Kapag too much yung testosterone mo, di ba backflow yung mga ibang hormones sa inyong katawan. Kung minsan yung too much testosterone na convert sa too much estrogen, na convert sa too much mineralocorticoids, and na convert sa too much cortisol, and that leads sometimes to gynecomastia, water and salt imbalance, and Cushing syndrome. And last but not least, sa behavior, sometimes this hormone effects alters your mood to the point na yung mga nagtetake po ng too much anabolic steroids na yung aggressive yung behavior po nila and impulsivity. Kapag yung kasama mo galit na galit parate check mo, baka nag steroid sa mga yan. So, to answer the question, pwede ko ba itong gamitin, Dok? Unless you have one, muscle wasting disease. Tulad nga ng AIDS, cancer, COPD, renal disease. Or number two, meron kang hypogonadism, mababa yung mismong sex hormone production mo. Medically speaking, I do not advise this taking anabolic or androgenic steroids or mismong artificial testosterone. Ako nga, in my clinical practice, eh, madala ko lang po ibigay ito. Kasi guys, mahirap i-monitor yung levels ng yung steroids sa katawan. Mahirap makahanap ng available laboratory and mahal mismo yung test nito. Kung gusto mo talagang inumin, doc, safe ba ito sa katawan? Again, just like in any scenario, you always have to check the risk versus the benefits. Kung gusto mo talagang gamitin, always check kung mapabantayan nyo or mapapagawa mo yung lab tests para bantayan yung steroid hormones mo. And number two, tanggap mo yung mga possible risk, yun yung mga sinabi ko kanina, na pwedeng mangyari sa iyo. Ayan, thank you again Doc Jaime for suggesting the topic. Sana may naintindihan po kayo sa pag-explain ko ng anabolic steroid sa topic natin. Kayo guys, mga viewers natin, if you have questions and concerns, please comment nyo lang sa baba, try natin sagutin. And kung sa tingin mo may natutunan ka sa lecture na to, please like and share this video so that others may learn. Okay, I think that's it. Guys, this has been Dr. Ivan Kudal, your internist and your endocrinologist, signing out.